so today we are going to see the fairings now this is a sagittal section so this side is the posterior one and here is the anterior one you can make out the nasal cavity and the oral cavity also and this is tongue now the pharynx extend from the base of the skull till the lower border of the required cartilage and this this much is this pharynx and this pharynx is divided into three divisions one is the nasopharynx oropharynx and laryngopharynx now the extent of the nasopharynx is from the base of the skull now here you can make out the sphenoidal hair sinus so this is a base of the skull till the soft palate so this much portion is the nasopharynx the oropharynx extends from this soft palate till the epiglottis so this much is the oropharynx now this you can see oropharynx is just behind the tongue or dorsal side of the tongue and the laryngopharynx extends from this epiglottis till the lower border of the cricoid cartilage you can here make out this as a cricoid cartilage and here is the lower border so this much portion is the laryngopharynx now in case of this nasopharynx what we can see is the, is this auditory tube this is the auditory tube now it is bounded by one fold posteriorly that is the salpingopharyngeus and one fold that is anterior to that that is the salpingopalatine fold again posterior to this salpingopharyngeus fold you can make out one gap that is called as pharyngeal recess this is pharyngeal recess now this salpingo uh, pharyngeus fold contains the salpingo pharyngeus muscle so and the, here in the nasal cavity you can also make out the conchi so these are the features of this nasopharynx in oropharynx if you take this tongue down you can make out two folds in the oropharynx this one which is lying anterior that is the palatoglossus coming from the soft palate going towards the tongue that's why this is palatoglossal fold posteriorly you can make out the palatopharyngeus fold coming from palate going towards the pharynx that's why palatopharyngeal fold and in between that there is one fossa or gap in which palatine tonsils are situated on both side palatine tonsils are situated on both side now this was about the oropharynx and from this upper free margin of the epiglottis till the lower Uh, margin of the cricoid cartilage there is laryngo pharynx now one thing here you can make out nasal cavity carries the uh, air but it passes anteriorly into the larynx and trachea whereas this oral cavity passes this food particles and it goes posteriorly through the laryngo pharynx towards the esophagus